So, just a little um, intro. I'm going to be 57 in two months. I have um, multiple myeloma, which means I have plasma cells that are proliferating in my bones and making abnormal cancer cells every day, which is killing my immune system. So I really have no immune system. I've um, had a broken neck. Um, I have, from a traumatic accident, uh, crushed my palate. My face was, um, on my upper lip, completely opened up and just trauma to that facial trauma and then I couldn't lift my arm um, after that either so I had a lot of a lot of trauma to my body um, then one day I woke up and I couldn't walk I had an L5 S1 herniation to my back that lasted over six seven months um, severe pain sciatica lost my job because of it and um, and then also I had Yersinia intercolacus, which is a very deadly foodborne uh, illness, which I got. And um, my liver was puddling, my heart was regurgitating, and I almost died. So, um, and here I am in the gym, and I just want to say that you can't outlift Jesus. <laughs> you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you and Jesus is the greatest weightlifter. But one of the things that I want to um, remind people, I think, is... So yes, I've stayed very active, I've stayed very diligent, and I have persevered, but one of the big things that has really changed my life was my, my eating habits that I believe has really helped save me and um, given me this 57-year-old um, healthy glow uh, that um, only food can do but you, you you can go in the gym and you can work out and do all the aerobics and lifting but if you don't eat right uh, then it's all in vain and so and so how do you get to the point where you can actually um, be and have a diagnosis like me and and all the recovery that I've had well first of all it's Jesus but number two it, it really is a change of diet but you have to start somewhere and that starts with a detox you have to detox your body and detoxing your body is exactly what I did when I got diagnosed um, I had been addicted to sugar I had been on a lot of medications from my back and I had to flush all that from my system so I started juicing and that's what I wanted to um, kind of throw out there, there is a really awesome, um, I think it's like a three day or two day weekend uh, that is coming up um, here in Tennessee. So if you're in Tennessee or very close to Georgia and you're willing to drive, um, December 11th, I believe this detox clinic starts. Um, there. Uh, so this clinic is actually going to have detoxing. It's going to have immune building. It's going to have um, health lectures. It's going to have Bible studies. Um, you know, we can't do anything without the Lord. Uh, so um, it's going to have uh, colon cleanses. It's going to have hydrotherapy. And uh, it is in, in the, it's in the beautiful areas in Tennessee. And so what I know from it is uh, there is going to be um, all day long um, classes and a treatment. And you're going to have fresh uh, juices daily. And, and that's all that it, you're going to be detoxed with juices lots of juices and so if you're really really serious about jump starting your health say you've been maybe you're a diabetic or you're trying to lose some weight you have autoimmune disease um, you have uh, rheumatoid arthritis uh, you've been having uh, GI issues that just aren't going away um, even depression anxiety things with your mind you know detoxing is is the, your first step your first step not just changing your diet but you have to go through the detox process so why not come here to Tennessee and have um, a clinic where people um, can help you you're in a controlled environment a supportive environment um, and um, you can't it's not just about working out 
Um, this all looks great, but you have to start with your diet. And in order to start with your diet, it's not just putting away the sugar and putting away the coffee and putting away all the other things that are killing you. It's cleansing your system first. So if you're interested, I'm going to post the information in the description box, and I'm also going to put it on the screen. Come join me in Tennessee. It's only for a couple days, but I'm going to be there, and I hope you're going to be there. Um, start off your um, your new your new you now and you, you don't have to wait to January 1st do it now